day 39. Uh, my knee might be jacked. Yeah, it's, I don't know, not cooperating. I'm just gonna walk slowly. If I was trying to, you know, do the normal thing, I'd already taken off because the post office in Pie Town is open very limited hours. And if I didn't leave now, I would never make it. But I'm not planning on making it, so I'm going to wander my happy ass down there slowly but surely, stay a night at the toaster house and get my crap tomorrow. Maybe get a hitch to the store or not. I'm just going to do my best to take it easy on my knee um, and hope I heal. It doesn't seem horrible, but it's, you know, not working as it should. Uh Man, don't really know what to do though. You know, stressed. Uh, it was cool. John came by yesterday to visit with the. Well, I guess I was gonna say with the hikers, but it's just me and Outlaw here. Uh, I told him about the dogs up the road. He knows about them, and he says they're really far from home. And you know, I was like, "Can you you call their parents for me?" And he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I got you, man." You know, I'll remind him again. I'm assuming I'll see him today because I'm not taking off early. I'm actually going to see if I can hint that I might need a ride to Pie Town. Uh, you know, I'd rather not walk on his knee if I don't have to. Maybe get in the toaster house for a couple of days and see if I heal up. Uh, it's only a 16 mile road walk, so it's not that big of a deal. I'm not going to wait around all day for him, but I'm probably not going to take off until the sun is well up and everything is warm, because why the fuck not? quite beautiful out here especially under the moonlight man I don't want my eye tanned I just can't have it this way not because of my frailty man and this isn't the kind of suck it up buttercup kind of thing you know I'll walk until my leg falls off if I take that attitude I just gotta heal man check yourself The sun has been up for a minute, not hitting me necessarily, but up for a minute. Outlaw has long left. This is where I slept last night. That's where I slept last time, too. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi isn't what it was. And I got absolutely nothing done. I tried for a couple hours, even after the hikers left. Uh, but I already knew from trying before that it wasn't going to work. Uh, there was just eggs, potatoes, onions, and beans, which, hey, awesome. Well, I had that meal twice, but unfortunately it means I've had a lot of beans. He did add the addition, because uh, that is the shower. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the laundry over here. You know, might as well give you a little mini tour of the place. <clears throat> Last time the cook station was set up here, you can tell by the grease stains. This is where I was cooking. Oh, uh, but we have laundry facilities. Awesome. Great. Even gives you Tide Pods and whatnot. Donate. Even I did. Hot water. Here's the shower. And yesterday I said I would rather he has shampoo and conditioner than bacon. He has the great conditioner. I don't know. That stuff made my hair really soft. My skin is soft. My clothes are soft. I'm happy. I used all the hot water there was, but it was just me and one other dude, so I needed it. I didn't use it all on purpose. We got a toilet in there. You don't need to see what those look like. Who cares? Get a sink there, running water, only cold, but that's all you need. Here's the cook station. We got three burners, all sorts of utensils, beans, uh, more stuff, you know. Oh, fucking great, man. Really appreciate this being here. Dude goes out of his way for us and really get, doesn't get much in return that I know of. But, you know, thanks, man. Alright. Let's hobble our clean ass to Pie Town. Tally ho. John seemed in a hurry this morning when I saw him. So it was just a quick reminder about the dogs. I was like, hey, don't forget those. He's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, um... And then him and somebody else driving past me, I, yeah, 
didn't stick my thumb out or anything because he just seemed in a hurry and I didn't want to inconvenience the dude. I appreciate what he does for us. So I'm going to slowly let my ass into town. If Veal comes by, you know, I might be inclined to throw my thumb out. Uh, I'm not excited to do this road walk into town. I've done it twice. And each time has been pretty, you know, uh, unsatisfying at most. This time it just be downright painful. I'm still headed in that direction because what other choice do I have? I took a few eggs with me. I soft boiled them on the way. And, uh, gives me a few snacks to make it into town. Backpack is super light, so that's not an issue. Whoo, chill wind though. Oh, 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 that was unexpectedly brisk. Okay, uh, I'm awake. Slow mosey into town. It's like 16 miles or something. It's gonna take all day. So I'm moving a little more than a mile an hour, probably a mile and a half. So it's not too terribly slow for me. It's literally half of or less than everybody else's speed, but it's it's tolerable. At this speed, I am looking at this kind of terrain where it is dirt road going up and down hills for what the next 30, 40, 50 miles, 60 miles, something like that. Normally, that'd be like two or three days tops before I hit the black top on the road walk into Grants. I think it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit longer this time. So I think I need to hitch to the store to pick up more food so I don't have food insecurities on this stretch. Because I think if I just walk nice and slow and just demobilize the knee, that I will technically heal as I walk. I don't know. I'm not hurting at all right now. Sure, I'm walking funny and it's hard on other parts of my body. But uh, screw those parts, man. I'm, I'm more focused on my knee right now. We'll see how it goes, man. Okay, dumb enough. It's easier to walk backwards. My knee bends better. Doesn't really hurt or anything. So, fortunately, it's a decently smooth road. I'm just going to walk backwards as much as I can. As, uh, the other way I'm walking is just keeping my left knee locked in place and making my right leg do all the work. Uh, and I've been doing that since yesterday, so my right leg is really fatigued. So, yeah, I'm going to walk backwards for a while. Stupid shit. Stupid, stupid shit. Uh, get with the program, knee. Oh, I don't have time for this shit. That's my hike to do, man. See that faint town way out there? That's Pie Town. Oh, yeah. I'm walking pretty slow, but hey, I'm still walking. I'm not in any pain because I have not bent my knee yet. Uh, well, I can't say I'm not in any pain. My other side is suffering for it, so I got a cramp in my right butt cheek like you would not believe. But I, I'd rather really have a cramp than a torn up knee, so. You know, just let that butt cramp right up. I'll keep wandering. I'm figuring eventually somebody's gonna come along. I'll throw my thumb out, I'll get a ride in, but I haven't seen a single car yet. Um, I'm a good four miles in at this point. It's not bad. I think it was like 16 total to town. So, yeah, hey, look at me. Quarter of the way there. Keep on trucking. I'll be there more right about the time the sun goes down. Maybe a little bit after. But, I mean, worst case scenario, I can just crash on the side of the road somewhere, you know. If things get too bad. I am out of food. But, you know, not completely. I actually have a couple of hard-boiled eggs in my pocket. But, you know, other than that, I am out of food. All is as it should be. All right, six miles down, eight to go. They're just getting slower and slower. But we will make it there. 
was really hoping a car would come along, but not a single one yet. Why even have a road if nobody uses it? Okay, I have finally hit South Pie Town Road. This is probably gonna be a busy road. I'll get picked up here. Look, look at this. Ah, it's like a thoroughfare. But I believe I only have to hobble like eight more miles, maybe seven. We're almost there. I haven't taken any brakes yet since you know I'm out of safety supplies and food. What's the point? But I need to sit down here to check my feet. Hobbling has been giving me blisters, I believe. So time to bandage those up. Oh, we're getting closer. It's just been a windy, shitty day. So, like, what's the point of recording? Blah, I'm just hobbling. Not in a bad mood by any means, but, you know, I'm not all happy or anything. I'm stressed. Oh, my shit's breaking on me, man. My tent, my leg, coffee filter. What else? What else is there? There's something. All minor shit, man. Everything will, everything will right itself. Let me tell you, this is a tremendous exercise in patience. Cruising along, and I'm probably just at a mile an hour right now. And it's going to be top speed. Now I could take that thing off my knee and start bending my knee and use it. And go a lot faster. It only hurts a bit. But the damage I do will last too damn long. So I've managed to go, I don't know, what's it, like 12 miles so far or something? Uh, without bending my knee more than like once or twice on accident. I'm wearing the bottom of my shoe off on my left foot because I'm just dragging it along. But, you know, the road's smooth and you know, dusty, so it's like lubrication. But damn, do I want to be where I'm going. Just rest. It's always the last few miles that are the longest. Yesterday as I got close to the Villa Ranch, my knee just gave up on me. Oh man, it started hurting something fierce, didn't want to do anything. I couldn't tell if it was bruised or dirty. <laughs> After a shower, it turns out I was just dirty. But it looked like it was bruised. It's only a little swollen in a few select places, but not really swollen, just puffy. It'll calm its shit once I you know, get there and relax. Okay, a nice lady named Angie picked me up about four miles from uh, the toaster house. Uh, she dropped me off in front of this is the post office, but it is not open right now. I will come back tomorrow. Okay, so I'm gonna walk my happy ass over to the toaster house, drop my crap off, and figure out stuff. Oh, and this is the toaster house. I heard somebody new is taking care of it rather recently, and it's got a whole new look and feel. Which is cool, because I didn't really like it my first time. It's kind of, it was, I don't know, had a skeezy vibe to it. It was just dirty, amongst other things. But I hear she's whooping its ass and cleaning it up. Oh, shoe tree. Of course, that big old tower does nothing for me. I can get zero bars here. I'm over at the uh, RV place. They let us use their Wi-Fi. Trying to get my tent repaired. But it turns out I need model numbers and stuff that I don't know. So I gotta wander back up and dig into my tent and find that out. Begin that process. There was a knee brace in there. One knee brace. So of course it's gonna be the perfect one. It's gonna solve all my problems. I'm wearing it right now. Pilfering their hiker box. Unfortunately, there's no fuel. All the fuel is 100% empty. I've never seen that. That's unfortunate. Might have to buy some. I don't buy fuel. Uh, the goal is to get to Grants as soon as I can. 
They have a Walmart there and I will sit outside of that Walmart and upload videos like crazy because I'm so far behind. But first I got to get this tent thing going, get the knee thing going, and then peel on out. Everything will work out as it should. It always does, doesn't it? I wish there was a set of shoes worth taking because then I'd hang my zammies up. These would be the only set of zammies to ever hang here. But no, my zammies are better than all of these. Oh, well. Day 40. Ooh, my knee is feeling pretty good. Uh, fortunately for me, I ran into a doctor. Now, her name's Dr. Doolittle. I just assumed that was a name. Turns out she's a sports therapist kind of thing. So she was like, let me look at your knee. And she looked at it, assessed it, and told me it was, you know, muscles. It's not the kneecap. It's my thigh muscles are too tight. And they're pulling my kneecap back out of position. So she jammed her thumb in there and unlocked something and everything started feeling better. My knee still hurts, but I can bend it, I can walk. And she's like, you know, it's not ligaments and tendons and, you know, joints rubbing or anything, which is what I thought. I was afraid with every step I was doing damage. And she's like, nah, you know, it's just muscles, man. Just keep walking it like normal. It'll eventually work out, massage your thigh, whatnot. Awesome, man. So I'm feeling pretty good, pretty confident. I'm not sure if I'm leaving today. More than likely I am. Mean, I'm walking to the post office right now to pick up my package. I'm not sure how much food I sent myself. And I'm not sure how much of it is moldy. Because I did put bagels in there. And that was weeks ago. So yeah, it might be a bag of mold in there. But I'm not sure how much food I sent myself. And I know that, you know, if I'm walking normal. I'm not sure if I'm able to, you know, walk normal. Yet, you know, like 20 plus miles. But if I could... It's only three, maybe four days to Grant. One, two, three days walking to Grant. So it'd be four tops even if I'm wounded. Did I pass up the post office? No, I got it. So I think I might walk down today, stop by the TLC ranch somewhere, get my water, and then make that the end of my day. Or I might stay here another night. No. I kind of go with what I feel at the time, so still early it's 9 a.m. picking up a package and I'll decide as the day goes on oh, hey my bagels weren't moldy they're still soft too I am amazed preservative you gotta love them I don't know if I have enough food but I think I do it's mostly garbage but there's a few dinners in there I raided the hiker box and took every good piece of food I could find and I think I'll just have enough So part of being a cheap bastard is you can take other people's pizza crusts and not feel ashamed about it. I enjoy a good pizza crust. And now I got a meal I didn't pay for. There are a lot of hikers here. There's good like eight of them up front, around here, everywhere. I'm waiting one more day. I wanted to get a good meal. I ate this one, but the restaurant opens late. It opens early tomorrow, but I think I'm going to hike out before the sun comes up. And just wander my happy ass down the road. My knee's feeling better, but still not great. But I think one more day. One more day. So I decided to take off. There's way too many people there. More showing up. I did have the primo spot, but too many people. And if I don't keep ahead of this horde, they're going to drain out the Walmart and everything ahead. So... I'm almost forced to stay ahead of this horde. My knee's feeling pretty good, not 100%, but it's gonna be a while before I am. I can handle that. No, I'm just not getting worse. So I don't plan on making it too terribly far, but if I start out out there a few miles, I'm more likely to wake up early and do the night crawler thing than I am here where breakfast will open up and stuff. I know how the trap goes. Plus there's no Wi-Fi for me to upload anything here. So hopefully the Walmart. I'll spend a few days there and see if we can fix things up. Mile zero. You don't often see that. I actually feel like that's the first time I've ever seen it, but I've walked by here three times, so it's just the first time I've noticed. Okay, 30 miles of this. And then like another 30 miles of Blacktop Road. 
Oh, joys. My ass crossing. That don't even look like a donkey to me. That one ear is like a weird unicorn. I forgot to check the weather. I was hearing rumors that it's going to start raining in the next day or so and rain for the next week. Which sucks because I'm still having tent issues. And Big Agnes did not email me back. I can understand that you probably have a lot of business going on right now through hiker season and all that. It just sucks. I wanted to get that ball rolling before I left town, but I left town in a hurry just because there's just too many people. But I need to get off this road before it rains. This thing turns to slop, sticks to your shoes, and I have 30 miles of it to go. I don't want to walk in 30 miles of slop. After that, it's blacktop, so it doesn't necessarily matter if it rains. This is such a boring road walk, though. This first part sucks. Rumor has it TLC Ranch did start a breakfast truck, so there is a possibility that Larry's Awesome Biscuits would be somewhere on the trail for me. I highly doubt it. But I hope they did. It'd be good for him. They make a little money off the hikers coming by. Good for them. Good for the hikers coming by. Because I'd love to have a breakfast halfway through this boring ass dirt road. But we shall see. Day 41. Wake up nice and early. 3 a.m. Drinking my coffee. A little storm going on outside. I can hear her blowing. It's definitely not cold. It actually feels kind of comfortable. But I'm in my tent. So, you know, things have a habit of changing. But I need to get off this road before the storm hits. This road turns to slop instantly. I've got 30 miles of it and I need to hit it before this storm hits. Let's get out there. Okay, definitely windy. The moon is doing its thing. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't see many clouds in the sky. I see lots of stars. But everybody was saying at the last place, hey, a storm's coming for a week. My tent is jacked. I, I could barely get out of my vestibule this morning. I had to uh, squeeze out like I was being birthed from my tent. Okay, I'm illegally camping on some people's property, so let's get going. Boredom. The most exciting thing is the lady from the post office was driving down the way and she saw me and recognized me and gave me an orange. I am probably 10 miles into this. But as you can tell, it's mildly windy and crappy and cold still, so I'm not recording much. Because there's nothing to record on this freaking road, man. I'm going to smash like four days into one video easy. I made it to TLC Ranch. They got the homestead out here. There's some other hikers here. They got water out for us and whatnot. Have a little breakfast, a little coffee. Getting out of the wind because, as you can tell, it's fucking windy as hell. Uh, the only goal I have to... Oh, outhouse. Okay, I have two goals. Um, one is to fuck up the outhouse and the second one is to get off this dirt road before the storm hits because there is a storm headed this way There's no way. There's not a storm coming. The wind is freezing and brutal <sighs> I hate this roadblock. It is the worst part once I hit the blacktop I'll be much happier. It gets beautiful there, but this just sucks, but I appreciate you for being there TLC Thank you I don't know maybe there isn't gonna be a storm. Oh man, the clouds aren't all that thick. They were really dark gray this morning. I'm a little sheltered from the wind with the vegetation, so not too shabby. Right now I'm kind of looking for a place to cat hole. Not really easy. I'm gonna have to hop somebody's fence and deuce in their yard, but yeah, you know, they'll never know. I'll just make a tree a little more fertile. <sighs> I think there's a good dozen miles left of this dirt road i guess i'm just happy i can film a little bit in the trees because other than that it's just too windy i don't even feel like pulling this thing out when it's all windy here's a good spot to hop who wants to get pooped on no i wasn't talking to you guys hiding from the wind in a nice little sheltered spot have myself a little lunch carry on i am so bored Ahead of the storm, it's trying to get me. Right now, the wind's headed at it, uh, but the clouds are moving towards me, which means in the next, I'd say, hour or less, 
the wind's going to start changing directions and a powerful storm is going to come in through and nail it. But I want that to happen. See, we got this dirt road right here that turns to slop as soon as it gets wet. I'm almost done with said road. But I've got a horde of hikers behind me that I want slowed down. I actually want them all to quit the trail. There's just too many of them, being realistic. Uh, but, you know, I want them slowed down in the slop so that they don't buy everything and consume everything in front of me. I know I'm selfish, but at least I'm honest about it. Oh, it is a beautiful storm. It's coming at me from all directions. It feels like it's a couple storms converging right above me. But I'm almost to the blacktop. But I'm fairly certain I'm going to get wet at least a little bit. But this should slow everybody else down. It has caught me. I'm trying to make a beeline for the road. I think I'm going to hitch to Grant's because it's going to rain for a few days and my rain fly doesn't work anymore. Get to Grant's, ride it out for a bit, and then come back. Sounds easy peasy, right? <laughs> Let's see if anybody picks me up in the rain. I'll look pathetic. It'll work. Long and arduous day. I'm hiding in my tent. I just got hardcore sprinkled on, you know, it wasn't really rain. Lots of wind, so that just made it seem worse. My tent is getting a little worse. The zippers aren't acting up, acting so well. And tonight for dinner is whatever I found in the fucking hydro box, man. I'm tired. I have huge, huge blisters going on because I walked 30 miles today. Uh, I was going to hitch in, but there weren't easy hitches. And then there was a break in the rain. So I was like, ah, screw it. I'll set up my tent. Um, I don't want to hitch in, but at the same time, yeah, you know, fuck, I've walked this road three times. But I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk it again. See how my blisters hold up tomorrow. At least the blisters are on the pads of my feet, so they're easy to get band-aids on. You know, I consider that a blessing. But they're, they're kind of grotesque. 30 mile. I wasn't ready for a 30 mile day, but I didn't want to get stuck on that road and, and while it was wet. I, I had that issue before and it turns into clay. It's just not easy to deal with. So yeah, here I sit in my tent, wake up early, go hiking again. Loads of fun, huh? Yeah, I'll be smashing like four or five days into one. I'm running out of space on this thing, so... It's got a little countdown going on on here of how much time I have left to record. And I recently came across, across the issue that I can't put anything off from my phone into the thumb drives because they're larger than four gigs. And it says anything bigger than four gigs has to be reformatted to blah, 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 which is all Greek speak to me. So that means I don't get to use my thumb drives either because they can't hold a decent sized movie. And all my movies are over four gigs. Come on. Um, so yeah, is what it is. I'll be in Grants tomorrow, but just on the edge of it, uh, probably hiding by that convenience store because it's got a subway, man. Who doesn't love a convenience store anyway? Uh, and then I'm probably going to get a room in Grants because they're only 50 bucks and I'll split it with somebody. There's hikers along the way and then sit there till I upload stuff, man, but I'm beat. Good night. Day 42. I had a pretty good night, rested really well, slept in late, obviously, because there's birds singing, a little bit of sun shining in the background, it's like 5.30. Enjoying my cup of coffee and somehow a non-rotten bagel. Pretty impressed, I have huge blisters on my feet, oh, oh they're huge, they're epic. So I'm going to walk down this road, I'm going to see some sights, and once I'm done seeing the sights, I'm probably just going to hitch into town, why the fuck not? Um, it's still pretty crappy out there, windy, cold. I haven't, you know, really been out there, out there. So I don't think it's going to rain today. Whether I was able to get a little bit of uh, service at the beginning of the road here, not where I'm sitting now, weird enough, because it's not even a quarter mile away. But um, and it says it's not going to rain for a couple of days, and then it's going to rain for a long time. And I need to, yeah, get my vestibules fixed. It's getting a little worse every day. But, um, I'll deal with it as I can. Maybe I'll just buy some Velcro at Home Depot and put it on there. Call it good. But I'll see what Big Agnes has to say first, man. I'm hoping it's under warranty, but I'm willing to pay a bit to get this fixed, too. You, you need two working zippers on your tent. Or, or you can't get in and out. Logic. Let's hit the road. Okay, first challenge of the day. Hop the barbed wire fence. That was all in plastic when I did it yesterday. So I didn't mind getting dirty, but... 
I'm back in normal clothes now. You look sturdy, right? This stuff has really big barbs on it, bigger than I'm used to. Huh. As far as roadwalks go today, this has been a pretty beautiful one. I've just been chatting it up. I ran into uh, Dr. Doolittle on the trail. But water cash there at the second breakfast coffee kind of thing. Compared to yesterday, it is a great day, man. I think that storm was just enough to slow down most hikers. Ran into some other hikers that I saw yesterday too. They just passed me. But everybody passes me. I'm the slowest guy on the trail. So, I have decided to do something. I, I wanted to do it the last few times, but you know, I had other people with me and you know, it's, it's, it's different when you just risk yourself, but there is this blue line coming up that I've never taken. I've always done the road walk, this road walk into Grants. And it is, I'd say the best road walk I've ever had. It gets quite beautiful in another four or five miles, but there's also this blue line off the side. It didn't have any water the year I was here. And I'm not sure if it has water now, but it's been a wet year. I mean, look at those clouds. Those got some water in them, right? It did just dump a little bit yesterday. And I want to see the lava tubes, man. So that's where I'm headed. I'm going to take the blue line. It's going to be exciting. We're going to see some different stuff. And then I, I'm probably not making it into grants today, I'll be honest. My knee's hurting. My, I got blisters on both feet. I'm kind of limping already. So... I'll probably camp on the blue line. That's cool. I got food. I got water. My tent is getting kind of jacked, but yeah. Who needs a tent? I'll sleep in a lava tube or something. Lava tube. Okay. So much better day than yesterday. Yesterday was a good day all in all, though. Um, I, I mean, I was being blown around, and it was crappy, windy, and stormy and whatnot, but I stayed just ahead of it. The whole time. I barely even got wet. And in my mind, that is a win. You know, and I did slightly over 30 miles yesterday. I can't do 30 miles. Well, obviously I can't because I'm limping now. But I still did it. Getting into hiker shape. And sure, I hurt myself a little bit, but not in the permanent kind of way. You know, it's kind of bad for your ego when everybody just passes you up and you can't even see people again. Like the road bends and you're like, I'm the only one out here anymore. Oh, hey, there's some people at the solar well. Those cats just passed me. Okay. Ah, I'm not the last one. I'll pass you up a little bit before you pass me up again. So, a cute little rattlesnake on the road almost got us. How you doing there, little buddy? And since I'm a nice guy, I got to move you off. I know, I know you don't want to, and I'm not going to hurt you. Come on, you're very, very stubborn about the whole thing. He's a little baby. What are you, three years old? You only got three little buttons on there? Nobody's scared of a little three-year-old snake. Here, I'll give you the, the blunt end. Come on, man, be cooperative. Go. Go. You live out there. You live out there. Uh, go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm going to stress you out until you go. You're going to die here, man. This is for your own good. Okay, you're just annoying me now. I have made it to the rest up part way up. I think I've been on the trail for... 12 miles or so now, I don't know. My feet are feeling pretty good for all the blisters and shit I have. But I haven't been feeling much because I've been chatty with somebody. And this is my third time walking this section. It's, you know, it's just not all that anymore. There's still beauty in it, you know, but I'm not fascinated by it. Once I get into the lava field, I'm going to see all sorts of new stuff. I'm kind of excited about that. Just hoping there's water in there. According to the maps, there ain't shit, but people leave comments saying, hey, there's water at this place and this place, so yeah, we'll find out. Oh yeah, who's gonna get their butt kicked? 
Now, last time I was here, this is where I spent the night. It was a very comfortable bathroom. It's nice and clean. I put that red lock on there. I found it on the roadway back there. I thought about sleeping in some of these caves and stuff, but none of them were deep enough and there's no camping allowed here. So I went in here and locked the door. It's not camping. It's hiding in a bathroom. It is a beautiful road walk. Birds singing. Without any shame, I yellow blazed my ass to the beginning of the blue line. Uh, Dr. Doolittle happens to be popular, so some dudes that she met earlier pulled over like, Hey, you want to ride? And we could have got a ride all the way into town, but I want to do the blue line. So they dropped us off right here. They gave us a ride. I think it was eight miles up, but saves us the time and water. And here we go. Oh, look, we got a cute little gate to go through. So adorbs. <laughs> oh, it's got a good squeak. I love it when they have the squeak. <laughs> like cattle. Okay, let's party, see some new stuff. Okay, so this is an interesting sign. Turns out way back in the day, we used to bomb the shit out of this place and now we have to keep eyes out for unexploded ordnance as we go. Awesome. If you see something that looks like historic munitions items, <laughs> poke it with your stick. So in that screenshot, if you look at the big black mark, that's a huge lava field that I am just stepping into now. And it's not just loose lava rocks. It's a big pile of frozen lava. There's broken rocks on top, of course, but it is mostly just a huge blow of lava. I imagine in the summer it'd be really hot because it's pretty black. Probably gonna chew my zammies up pretty good too, but it's about time for new shoes. It's hard to tell you're looking at a huge lava field, even this underneath. This is just dirt on top of a big piece of lava. But you're starting to see the big lava flow in between the trees there. It's pretty impressive to me that the trees grow out of the lava. But I'm willing to bet these things hold a decent amount of water since it's like a big solid rock. And being porous. Into the lava proper. Wow. Still little flowers growing out of it. Crazy man. Hot lava. Cold lava. How the hell do we find a trail in this? Does that count as a cairn here? Oh, and the cactus are blooming. Groovy. Ooh, if you know what you're looking at, or even kind of know, you can tell like that was a fast liquidy flow. Ugh. So is this, you can tell by the wrinkles. That's a Karen. Okay, that helps. Still close to the road, you can hear it, but that won't last for long. But there are just huge lava fields out here. It's been extending for miles and miles already. Looks like they have a hard time getting their roots in, but they get their roots in. Look right, cool. how deep that crack is. <laughs> Do 
Okay, it's a lot of stepping over these kind of things. And you know how I am with edges. I am not a fan. But these things go deep. Lots of flow, man. I haven't seen any really cool lava tubes, but I've seen parts of one where the wall's falling off and you can see in a little bit. Lava. Some of these cracks are just impressively deep. I can't even see the bottom of these ones. This is all just solid lava. Okay, I am not going to lie. It is a bitch to navigate our way around this. We're kind of guessing. There were Karens for a while. But now it's just hot lava. It's hard to spot the Karens in this mess. This is definitely not something I'd want to do night hiking. There's just crevices everywhere. I'd be able to hang, but it wouldn't be safe. That little porcupine bastard right there got me real good. So I gotta take my shoe off to get the spines out of my feet. Ah, oh, kinda sucks because my foot is probably attached to the shoe via the spines. It's kinda how Choya works. I was able to pick most of them out, but I, I could feel a bunch of them in my foot still. does all this why is that so high and this so low I'm pretty glad I came in here it's very interesting so far way better than a roadwalk I have no idea where I'm gonna sleep tonight because you are not pitching a tent on this stuff but I assume it's gonna be warm because it's black so it should be the warmest night I've had in a while. Amazing. And these things go away. I can see the bottom of that one. I haven't seen a Karen in a minute. Still trying to find the trail. But, yeah. Uh, this is beating my knee up pretty good, to be honest. The downhills are kind of painful. It's hard to find the Karens. Everything's a jumble of rocks and some of them are as small as that. That's a Karen. And of course our friend Choya still hangs out in here. You never get away from Choya. Stuck to us for life. I am really hoping to find a lava tube that I can sleep in. That would be really, really cool. I've seen evidence of lava tubes, but nothing I can do more than look into a hole where a wall has collapsed. It's crazy that this much stuff grows in a lot of people. Oh, somebody came out here and did trail maintenance. Look, cut and cut. I guess I can keep my eye out for cut branches too because they probably stand out even more than that. Interesting. 
everything here like you know it looks dead and desolate but if you just pan across it's a little forest out there no not everywhere but i'm amazed at how much stuff grows in here people have made little bridges that's man-made right there thanks peeps i could have jumped it but i didn't want to I do not want to fall down on this. That's road rash waiting to happen. Like this was a lava tube coming through here, but it's collapsed in. It's probably hollow underneath where I am. Rock art. Yeah, there's definitely a lava tube down in here. Well, this is what lava tubes look like. I, I'm obviously not going to be camping in one. There's supposed to be a parking lot coming up in a few miles, so that is more than likely where I'm going to sleep. Because this is going to eat up my mat. It's just interesting, as you walk, we're still on lava, but it's, it's not the same. It's got a lot of growth on it, starting to grow dirt. It's eventually it'll be covered up. I'm just wondering how much of this is hollow. You know, there's probably lava tubes running all over. This is just a mountain miles and miles. I'll have to do an expanded view screenshot of how big these things are. Oh, a huge black widow web. Good nuts. Look at the size of that thing. You can tell it's a black widow by how haphazard it is. They don't give a fuck how they build their webs. It'll catch something. It's strong. Looks like... You look up in the center there. We're headed into another lava field pretty soon, but yeah, you know, I'm gonna kick it under the shade of one of these trees for a bit. This is like the fourth one of these I've seen. In case of somebody carried posts out here. So according to the map, there's a moving slow to it. It's slow moving, but in another four miles, there's a parking lot. But it says it's under 24-hour surveillance and we can't camp there. So naturally, I want to camp there. So I will. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Next, go luck. It's just weird to see a blaze on a tree. See all these cool cooling circle patterns. I don't know exactly why they're circular, but there's a lot of them around. Oh, this is such so slow going, but I don't mind. I'm not in a hurry. Would be nice to know where water is. There's only rumor and speculation of water in here. And I'm curious to see if there is a natural water source in here. What the hell does it look like? I can't imagine any of this holding water. I'm sure they're just water caches and stuff. But see, there's a lot of these big, and they just look like uh, cow patties made of stone, don't they? Just a big hole. I'm assuming this is where lava cools and just collapses. I'd like to see one of those full of water. I'd go for a little swim. And then grassland. Oh, how quickly it changes. It's still the middle of the lava field. You just get these every once in a while. Ooh, check this bad boy out. That's a lava tube somebody could sleep in. Just ooh, big enough for my tent. But why would you need a tent in a lava tube? Cool, man. You can tell a lot of fires have happened in here. The ceiling's still drippy and melted. Oh, it goes all the way through. Cool, man. This is 
is still lava field. There's tons of flowers now. It is hot here. Even for me. The uh, heat must just get absorbed into this ground. As soon as I got in here, I started sweating pretty good. And I have not stopped. Got an informational kiosk, which means I am near the parking lot that I'm not allowed to sleep in. I really hope there's water. Yeah, I made it to the parking lot. And what I find comical already is, you know, you gotta walk all over this stuff, but hey, they, they put a bridge over the first crack. Thanks, guys. Thanks. You could've walked right around there, but no, 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 the bridge is cool, I appreciate it. This is the first of many. They're gonna install bridges everywhere. Well, I don't trust standing on expanded metal like that. But I did it anyway. Garbage cans? What is that over there? Looks like, I don't know, rain catchment system or something? Oh, enhance. That's what I'm looking at. What are those? Solar panels? Or I don't even know. Don't even know. Oh, got me a privy. Oh, and a picnic table. Nice. I'm so easy to please. No camping or overnight parking lot. Uh, let's lead the. Oh, no drone zone. And they said this place was monitored. Oh, they got a thing over there that says notice. Good hunts again. Yeah, Brett, right they're like, we are watching you. I never believe that. I'll make a quick search of this place, see if there's any cameras around. And I'm gonna go with a big bad no. I say they are liars. Dirty, dirty liars. I have never seen more dead flies on the floor. Good one. Luckily I don't need you. I was wandering around hoping to find a water cache or something around here, but not looking like it. This area is under 24 hour video surveillance. Sure it is. Sure it is. Big Brother's always watching. Like no water stashed around here anywhere. I was hoping. I'm guessing these will have water to pass under that way. There's some on the other side. We'll just hang out underneath. It looks like rain. Nah. This is the sky that's headed towards me. I think it looks pretty good. It is raining a bit right there, but yeah, not enough cloud cover to really do anything. My tent is getting more jacked by the day, but yeah, still usable. Just getting worse. Oh, yeah, that's half the lava field. I think there's more over here. I don't know. I'm gonna check some satellite imagery. But right now, I'm looking for a place to camp. It's been a long day, as every day is. And I don't have much water left. I think I have enough for dinner tonight, coffee tomorrow, and then there's supposed to be water, but it's not on the map. It's just comments on the map. But there's supposed to be water in another mile and a half, two miles. I am not making that tonight. My knee is starting to mess with me. But tomorrow, that's tomorrow's problem. I think that's a camera. 
just curious, I gotta go over and check stuff out, but I don't know, maybe not. It is not a camera. It's a light, isn't it? Or, I got no idea what I'm looking at. Nope, no idea what I'm looking at. So when they say next week, what do they mean by next week? Oh, no, it's and it's all crashed out. Prescribed fire, but plan next week info is all crossed out. Not all crossed out, slightly crossed out, poorly crossed out, I'd say. You want me to just set it on fire and save you guys a problem? I gotcha. I believe a murder has been committed. Oh, it's still got a head. That is so rare. And one leg. What? You never see him with the head still on.